Isaiah chapter 62, 1 John, 62nd book of the Bible. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. The Lord is long-suffering. All the troubles that's going on in that area today in Jerusalem, God will take care of it. There is peace coming to Jerusalem. God's peace. Until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, light, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. Not that you're going to hide it under a bushel. You won't be able to hide the light of God. The Gentiles shall see thy righteousness. Well, they're not going to be completely left out. And all kings thy glory. Thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. So Israel's going to get a new name one day. We're going to get a new name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord. And a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Royalty, majesty. And not today. Thou shalt no more be turned forsaken. And that's what they are today. In, individually, a Jew can be saved. But there's no difference between Jew and Greek. Romans chapter 10. But as a nation, yes, they are put away. They are forsaken. But not forever. The Gentiles are brought in to anger the Jews. You didn't want it? I'll give it to those dead dogs. Imagine what Peter thought when, when Jesus finally healed that, that, that Gentile woman. I bet you he was one of the ones that could get her out of here. Imagine what Peter thought when they came in, in John chapter 4. There's Jesus sitting with a Gentile woman. Gentiles were dead, dogs, scum. Neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate. And that's what it is today. You can't describe what Jerusalem and Mount Zion is going to look like when the curse is gone and Lord Jesus Christ is going to be there. It's just holiness and beautiness. But thou shalt be called Hephazibah, which means my delight is in her. That is not said today. Not with the dumb of the rock being over there. Not with Roman Catholics running around telling you lies about this is where Jesus, this is where, you know. And thy land, Beulah, which means married. Dwelling in Beulah land. Are we Jews? For the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. Thy land. Jews are not interested in heaven. They're interested in land. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. As the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. One day the Jews are going to be pleasing God. They're not pleasing them today. I have set a watchman upon the wall. Protection. Look out, O Jerusalem. Which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. Always. You're supposed to be always proclaiming the Lord. Go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. Where does it say stop?
and give him no rest till he establish, until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. God is not going to settle down until his son is sitting king in his city where his people Abraham Isaac Jacob will be in the land that he has promised them not Ishmael not Gentiles and not no foreigner giving holy land tours Imagine 11 disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ giving Holy Land tours. They were there. They knew the steps. They knew the places. Imagine somebody 2,000 years after Jesus walked this planet telling you where Jesus did and what Jesus did and, and they weren't there. What can we learn from the disciples out of their own mouths? The Lord has sworn by his right hand power. The Lord Jesus Christ is said to be seated at the right hand of the Father. And by the arm of his strength. This is not the hand that you want to arm wrestle with. You'll lose. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemy. Gideon and the sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine for the which thou hast labored it's going to be made in Israel for Israel for they that have gathered it shall eat it the Jews they're going to plant and sow their own They're going to enjoy the fruit of the land and praise the Lord for it, giving thanks for their food. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. They're going to bring their fruits, their wine, all that they have gathered, the increase, they're going to bring into the temple and rejoice with God. And you'll find that in the law. The feast. Go through, go through the gates. Like I said, I don't know if there's any gates there today. There'll be gates in the city and there'll be gates into the temple. Prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway. That's going to be a highway leading up to the only mountain in the world. Gather up the stones, lift up a standard. There's a flag for the people. Oh, I'm offended at that. You ain't going to get rid of that flag. That banner is going to be God. That banner is going to be the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Behold, the Lord has proclaimed unto the end of the earth. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold thy salvation. Revelation 22:12 coming the Lord Jesus Christ coming in the present tense and yet it hasn't happened yet behold his reward is with him we're with him we've been given rewards He'll be picking up those Jews and bringing them into their land. Giving them a new heart, a new spirit. And his work before him. Destroying the wicked. They shall call them the holy people. They call them that today. The redeem of the Lord. They're not calling them that today. And thou shalt be called sought out. No, 
Not yet. A city not forsaken. I'm sorry, not yet. Not yet. Soon to be.